If you ever wanted to turn your ideas into 3D models without spending hours learning complicated software, then Tinkercord might just become your new favorite tool. In today's video, we are diving into this beginner-friendly, web-based platform that makes designing in 3D simple, fun, and totally free. Whether you're a student, a hobbyist, or just curious about 3D modeling, stick around. By the end, you will be ready to create your very first design from scratch. After signing in for Tinkercard, you will land to this page. If you want to start creating your design, you need to head to Create, then choose whether you are designing 3D design, circuits, or code blocks. So if I chose 3D design, we will land to this work plane. So we have on the left some options which controls the viewing of your work plane. So in this tab, you will go to your home view. In this tab, you will fit all uh, the, the components that you placed in your work plan and in this tab you will zoom in, in this tab you will zoom out and in this tab you will switch to different views based on your preference. Now to start adding new shapes you can head to this drop down menu and choose the type of shape you want to add. So if you want to add basic shapes you can land to this page or to these options if you want to add like a cylinder for example you can just drag and drop it like this and once you do this you will have access to more options so you can choose the color of your shape from here you can choose its transparency and you can choose also custom color from this tab you can also choose the sides from this grid you can choose the beveling and you can choose the segments as well and if you want to lock any further edits you can just click on this lock icon so that it will be locked without being able to edit it furthermore you can also edit the dimensions by more than a way. You can just go to these arrows and drag till you achieve the required dimension like this. Or you can click on the dimension from here and write the number. You can also choose to rotate your shape like this, but since this is a cylinder, it will not appear. But if you, we use, for example, like a box it will appear like this and you can choose to raise from the work plan the work plane level like this you can also access more options from here you can mirror your shape you can also uh, choose cur uh, cruise to cruise with your shape so that you can just drag to anywhere you want and you can choose a uh, shape work plane to determine the work plane which includes this shape and you can use to drop to work plane so that if you raised your shape like this you can also click on the on this option so that you can return it to the surface of the work plane again you can also click on your shape and click on this hide selected so that it will be hidden and if you want to return it back you can go to this light icon click on it so that it will appear again you can also import any shape from import here you can export your shape into uh, e either you can select only a selected shape or everything in the design you can choose to export it to autodesk so that you can continue uh, your design with autodesk or you can just use 3d print service and you can use one of these 3d printing services from the collaboration with Tinkercord and if you want to export it as a PNG you can also go to send to and choose this download so that it will be downloaded as a PNG file so this is pretty much the basics of using Tinkercord and that's it for this video guys if you are interested in more tools for 3d animation content creation make sure to subscribe to our channel thank you so much for watching and see you in more tutorials until then take care and goodbye